If there was any question about who the Democratic frontrunner is, Bernie Sanders has put that to rest. Sanders won a smashing victory yesterday in the Nevada caucuses, lapping the competition. The culinary union leaders are not dumb. They saw what was happening in this state. Uh, they had nice words for Joe Biden, but they saw what happened in New Hampshire. They saw that his campaign here was not nearly as organized as Bernie Sanders is. So, and, and a lot of, uh, of Biden folks got upset with this analogy that I used, Chuck. They were not going to get on board the Titanic after it hit the iceberg. But all these candidates will get some African-American votes. No question about that. Uh, I do believe, however, that if we were having the election uh, tomorrow, uh, that Joe Biden would have more of the vote. How much more? Uh, I don't know yet. I think that the debate uh, on Tuesday night mm -hmm. will have an impact. So South Carolina has a demographic yep. that lends itself well uh, to uh, Democratic voters especially. So I think that if you can win South Carolina decisively, I think it will set the stage uh, for Super Tuesday and you will become uh, the odds on favorite. Does the president believe that Russia is trying to interfere in the 2020 election? I think that Russia and other nations have consistently tried to interfere in American elections. The question that I think is out in some of the fake news media was an assertion that Russia was intentionally trying to help Donald Trump. That's different than four nations consistently looking to undermine America's democracy. They, they will always try to do that. All right, he called it a disinformation campaign. The president himself, he believes his intel officials are passing on disinformation to him? No, Chuck, what he believes is that the people leading the House Intelligence Committee, particularly Chairman Schiff, intentionally distort information and leak information that is false. There has not been an assertion that Russia is trying to benefit Donald Trump.